Hey guys, we have finished the last two days. So we're going to cover yesterday, which was day 29, and then today, which is day 30. Been very thankful for the way that you guys have participated and the way you've interacted with the series. I'm grateful for the time you spent in your journals and then also preparing us for our winter retreat. So on day 29, we see 2 Peter 1 and 2 and 2 Timothy 2. So 2 Peter 1 and 2 are kind of warning passages, kind of telling us, hey, this is what's coming up. Make sure to look out for this. Be watchful. And that's something that we need to hear because sometimes we get lulled to sleep in the way that we think about our Christianity or the way we think about our lives. And so these are good, helpful reminders of what we should be looking for and how we should be aware in our Christian walk. 2 Timothy 2 is how to use the gifts God has given us in teaching and helping being available to people, helping people walk through their faith, being leaders, guides, people with wisdom to help others along their way in their faith. So for today in this part, what I prayed about was making sure that I was aware of my own Christian walk and then being able to lead others in their Christian walk by showing them the things that I was learning or had learned um, from my relationship with God. In day 30, I looked at Matthew 13, and that's today. We're in Matthew 13 and 2 Peter 3. So Matthew 13 is this great parable of the harvest where Jesus tells this story about a farmer who goes out to sow seeds and where the seed lands and how the people are represented by where their seed lands. So they listen for a little while and then fall away. They listen and stand firm in, in the conviction of faith that they, they then believe in. And so you have to stop and think about what does this look like for you? What does this look like? us? How do we feel like we are the seed and how is it growing in our lives? So this is a really, really cool parable for us to study, especially in our context of the day, to be able to think through where we are along the path as the seed. And then Second Peter 3, um, which is kind of the closing of the book and uh, Peter's kind of final, um, kind of final warning to the people. And just saying, like, be aware. Be aware of what's going on. Watch for the things that you see around you. Make sure that you're aware of kind of what culture does and what culture is trying to uh, tell you about what life should look like. Um, as you finish today, may your prayer be a prayer um, of guidance that uh, you would allow God <clears throat> to show you what your life should look like um, as as. The seed takes root for you on the path that you will be aware of God's influence in your life and that he will guide you in that. Um, these are due on Wednesday. A lot of you have been asking, um, unless you've made other arrangements with me. A couple of you um, have some catching up to do, but you want to finish it, and we've already talked about it. If we haven't talked about it, make sure you call me, let me know, text me, say, hey, I want to finish it. I just need a couple more days. That's great. If not, please turn them in to me on Wednesday at Huddle Groups. I'm going to start reading through them, and I want to know what you are thinking through this series. Uh, if you finish it all and I read through it and it looks great, you're going on the retreat for free. And it's going to be such a great weekend. If you didn't finish it this time, still come on the retreat. It's 100 bucks a person, um, which isn't too bad for a trip to Gatlinburg, especially in the cabins we're staying in. So you guys will love it. Again, I hope this has been such a blessing to you. I was reading through it um, yesterday, and there's like 75 plus chapters of the Bible that you guys have read in the last 30 days, and you've journaled and prayed through them, and I know that's got to make an impact on your life. So I'm thankful for you in doing this journey with me, and I hope that God's Word has gotten into your life. I know it's planted seeds um, that will kind of change the way you see things that you all right, I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for completing our 30 challenge. We'll see you guys Wednesday night.